my dear, that is pure perfection. All right, all right. Now you, the little one, come here. Come here. All right, yeah. Now, I want you to go get dressed for your little talent section, okay? I have an idea for the little introduction. All right. Now go, run along. Curls, come here. Come here, curls. All right. Now, between you and I, he ain't got nothing, nothing mm. on you. Now, as long as you do what Cowboy Joe tells you to do, you gonna win. All right now. All right. Now when you do your little dance, okay, okay you prop up like this. All right. All right. And then you do the leg. All right. Point out to the ladies. Yeah. Oh, uh, excuse me, Cowboy Joe. May I go to the restroom? Yes, you may go to the restroom. Thank you. Can't Great. believe him. The nerve. Yeah. The nerve of that boy. All right. Now, while he is in the restroom, I want to let you know, right. you were doing extremely better than him. Now, what I need you to do is listen to everything that Cowboy Joe tells you to do. All right. All right? And you're going to win. You know, Cowboy Joe told me that I'm for sure going to win this competition. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty dance around and stuff. And, you know, being part of Mr. Rubido and stuff. You know what? I know for sure that I'm gonna win this competition. Cowboy Joe even told me, and that guy he's coaching right there, I mean, look at that, look at that, he can't even do it. That hair, it's nasty hair. That jacket, it's, it's so old. I mean, I mean, you see this, you see this? This is designer, you know? You know what the kids call this nowadays? They call this swag. I don't know what that means, but it, it sounds good to me. All right now, as you can see, I am training this little Starsky and Hutch back there to turn on each other. They're growing some bad blood right now. It's brewing in their souls. And, and they're taking it out on each other, all right? Now, while, while they're doing that and battling it out, I'm gonna swerve through and earn the title of Mr. Rubido, all right? Now, you saw last year how Mr. YouTuber didn't listen to anything the Cowboy Joe had to say. And what happened to him? He lost. He lost the competition. Now, now I know what you wonder. If you want a trophy, go get it yourself, right? That's what Cowboy Joe is going to do. And now the winner for the Mr. Rubido pageant is Cowboy Joe. Oh! Okay. All right. I just like to think. Everybody who supported Cowboy Joe, thank you, everybody. I'm Mr. Rubido. I'm Mr. Rubido. I'm Mr. Rubido. Yeah. Hey, Cowboys. Oh. Joe. Hey, boys. Uh, now, I know y'all might have a little uh, animosity towards yeah. me. Um, look. Welcome back to our Falcon Show. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Anyone interested in participating in the Cinco de Mayo Folkloric Dance, please contact Virginia Lopez at the email below. For more information, practices after school from 2.30 to 4.30, Tuesdays through Thursdays. And now, quality time. Well, good morning, Rubido. It's good to see you. Now tell me, if you are what you eat, is Hannibal Lecter more human than the rest of us? This has been another installment of Quality Time.
Congratulations to the track and field boys. Rubidoux High School plays Citrus Valley and won 92 to 24. Track and field girls played Citrus Valley and lost 110 to 24. Congratulations to Miss Fuller, Miss Finnicum, and the FFA students. FFA just returned from the annual state convention held in Fresno each year. Madison Dollarhide was a state finalist in the impromptu speaking contest. Allison Severa won a second place state proficiency award for her wildlife management project. Our chapter website, which was designed by Joy Lyle, received a third place award for the southern region. Our scrapbook received a fourth place award for the Southern Region. The Rubido FFA chapter was one of only five programs in the Southern Region awarded the State Superior Chapter Award. Also this weekend, our floral students participated in the 67th Annual Riverside Community Flower Show in the Youth Division. Our RHS team brought home many first and few second place awards, and junior Ana Seja won Best of Show. Congratulations! Seniors, Harupa Lions Club, Harupa Valley Chamber of Commerce, and Harupa Rotary Scholarships are now available. Visit the Career Center for applications. Good morning, Rubido. Welcome back to Fun Facts. Did you know that a Saudi Arabian woman could get a divorce from her husband if he does not give her coffee? Americans, on average, eat about 18 acres of pizza every day, while Mr. Bailey eats about 20. Cats have over 100 vocal sounds, while dogs have about 10. Many hamsters only blink one eye at a time. If you were to take a car to the moon, it would take less than six months going at 60 miles per hour. I wonder how much it would take if you go 88 miles per hour. The walking council day has been changed to May 13th. Can I help you? Oh, um, uh, Mr. Vader, sir, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I'm here to take Leia to the prom. You want to take my princess to the prom? Y yes, sir, yes. Give me a second. Leia? What, Dad? There's a young man at the door who says he is here to take you to the prom. Yeah, Dad, that's Han Solo, captain of the Millennium Falcon. I told you this already. Yeah, and I told you that you couldn't go. You deliberately disobeyed me. You know, ever since the Death Star went down, you've been such a sis. Uh, come in, young man. Leia will be out in a second. No, she used to date a bounty hunter. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Hey kid, you have my daughter home before midnight. Yes sir, Vader, sir. Where's your limo? I had to, we pick up something different. Prom tickets are still on sale. Remember, prom is this Friday, and in preparation for prom, Rubido High School will follow minimum day schedule this Friday, April 25th. Students will be dismissed at 11.47 a.m. Bus transportation services will be adjusted accordingly. Attention, the long-awaited staff versus senior basketball game will be on May 9th. Good morning, Rubino. Welcome back to the next campus. This week, we'll be looking at UC Irvine, home of the Ant Eaters. Let's hear it for the blue and gold. 
Founded by Daniel G. Aldrich Jr. in 1965 in Irvine, California, it is one of the nation's fastest growing engineering schools attracting talented faculty and students from across the nation. Students attending the school are talented and forward thinking. UCI majors and minors in the arts, biological sciences, humanity, business, engineering, law, and medicine. Famous alumni that graduated from the school include Tyler Hoshlin from Teen Wolf and Thoy Trang from the Power Rangers. UCI partners with numerous local arts, cultural education, and civic organizations. There's always something interesting going on at UC Irvine. Enlightening classes, engaging public lectures, captivating performances, and exciting athletic events are taking place nearly year round. All applicants must meet the following minimum academic requirements. Have a bachelor's degree in the recognized academic institution with standards equivalent to those of the University of California. Have a minimum GPA of 3.0 and provide official standardized testing scores. UC Irvine offers guaranteed on-campus housing. Freshmen are guaranteed two years of on-campus housing, but they must turn in a housing application first. UCI is located at 413 South Circle Drive View, Irvine, California, 92617. All right, that's it for this week, Ruberto. I'm Caesar, and see you next time. Seniors, on Wednesday, April 30th, we will have our senior assembly. It will begin during advisory and last until lunch. We will be discussing all of the end of the year activities and taking the senior panoramic picture. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Umbarger and Mr. Moore. Falcons, the next Ruberto High School Blood Drive is Thursday, May 1st from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the gym. Applications can be picked up in the student store. If you are 16 years of age or younger, you must have parent consent. Um, can you tell us your name? Uh, my name is Fred. Hi, my name is Daisy. I'm here because, well, my best girl is leaving me for someone else. I don't know why he's taking this a bad way. He should be happy I'm moving on to something better. I already knew before. She posted them on her Facebook, but I just thought, they were just friends, you know? Just kicking it. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's just very emotional. Okay, yes, I might have kicked it with another ball, but Fred should have known I was gonna pull a red card on him. I need to move on to a more professional level. What did she say? She, uh, she said that she needs to move on to a more professional level. Girls Soccer meeting Monday, May 5th in the gym. If you are interested and want to play over the summer, you must attend. All information for summer and May workouts will be available. Hey, won't go a problem with me? Sorry, you gotta be dressed in style. Hey Falcons, are you in need of a tuxedo and accessories for prom? Well, you're in luck. Flyer Tux Shop, the store with the largest selection of slim fit suits and tuxedos is the place to go. Right now, they are offering a Falcon Amazing special deal at checkout. When purchasing, use the promo code THESEGUYSRHS and you will receive a $45 discount. That means that at checkout, you will only pay about $70 for your rental. Hurry and check out the Rancho Cucamonga store at 12225 Foothill Boulevard at the Victoria Garden Shopping Center off of the 15th Freeway, Exit Foothill. For more information, call 909-899-9060. Remember, the promo code is THESEGUYSRHS. And if you want to dabble in the amazing giveaways, check them out at their website as well at FriarTuxProm.com. The Riverside County Office of Education and Inland Empire Reading Council announced the 2014 Young Readers Recognition. This event honors the exceptional writing of kindergarten through 12th grade students in Riverside County. The recognition event will feature local authors, a display of submitted student work, refreshments, awards, and a book and journal for each student author. All students who submit work will be honored, and students whose work is awarded Best of Category will receive a special recognition medal. Each school may select three pieces of student writing to submit. Site winners will be notified by Wednesday, April 30th. All students who have submitted selections will be recognized at the Riverside County Office of Education Conference Center, which is at the address below. We encourage you to have Rubino High School represented at the 2014 Young Writers Recognition. And show some Falcon pride. Spring practice for football starts May 12th. See Coach McMains for more information. Girls State is a leadership conference for only junior girls in the state of California. 
and um, at the conference you learn about the government and everything about um, our governmental system. Um, they're nominated by some uh, an administrator or a teacher on campus and um, they have to be a junior and they have to meet all the requirements for the girls' state and um, you go through a series of applications and interviews and it goes from 10 to 5 to 1. That was the first girl to be nominated by the agriculture department and um, it was it's a pretty big honor being the first girl nominated and I got it the first time so it was a big honor. My responsibilities now are to fundraise for um, the, the cost of the conference and to represent Rubido proudly. Uh, my plans are to attend the conference and get as much knowledge as I can and bring it back to the school and um, apply it to help our school and the community. So I'm here with prom nominee. Vanessa Salazar. Noel Payan. Jesse Kelly. Stephanie Zamora. Joy Lyle. Hila Jamwal. Felix. Edgard. Laura Diaz. So Vanessa, why should people vote for you? People should vote for me because I think that I represent Rubida well. Um, I'm in softball, I was in cheer and golf, and I'm also in the top 10. And I just think I get along with everybody and I'm a nice person. So you should vote for me and Felix too. Because you guys are the boo together? Yeah, he's my boo. So Noel, why should people vote for you? Um, people should vote for me because I'm doing this for all those kids who got bullied when they were little and told that, you know, you're not going to get anywhere in life. And this is proof that, you know what, you don't have to be that athletic jog or the most involved kid to become prom king. And that's why I'm doing prom court. So that's why he's doing prom court. Did Thank you. you. Thank you, Noel. Thank you. So, Jesse, why should people vote for you? Let's see. Before I decided to run for prom, I thought, why not? And I couldn't think of a reason as to why not, so I thought about it and just did it. And I'm not going to say I'm the nicest or the kindest or the sweetest or the smartest or the strongest, but I like to win prom king, that's it. So, vote for Jesse Kelly. So, Stephanie, why should people vote for you? Well, because I want to have a good memory of the school, and I think I somewhat represent it really good, <laughs> and it'd be fun. So Joy, why should people vote for you? People should vote for me because I show so much school spirit and I love RHS. And also I can relate to so many people on campus. So that's why they should vote for me, Luis. Anything else you want to tell the people out there? Oh, class of 2014, turn down for what? And vote Jesse and Joy for prom king and queen. Yeah. So Ela, why should people vote for you? Well, because I don't know how to slow dance, so you guys will probably get a good laugh. So you can slow dance. So anything else you want to tell the people out there? Uh, vote, wait, vote Hila for prom unless you want me to beat up your mom. So Felix, why should people vote for you? Uh, I think people should vote for me because um, I feel like I represented my school very well. I, I was always wanting to get good grades and get involved, you know, being a varsity athlete. So I just, I feel like it's, it's like a perfect way to top off, you know, my high school career. Way, good way to end it. So anything else you want to tell the people? Uh, just vote for me and Vanessa, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, you know, we've been together since freshman year, so that'd be pretty cool. Super cute. So Edgar, why should people vote for you? Well, last year Luis brought me out of my shell in choir and turned me into the, I guess, the Iron Stallion. And since then, I guess, I've just been wanting to get more involved and put myself more out there. So anything else you want to tell to the people of Rubido? Vote for me, Team Edgar slash Iron Man. So Laura, why should people vote for you? I believe I should be nominated as prom queen because I'm someone that's school spirited, I'm involved in my community, and I'm very friendly, and I'm not one of those people that just carries one group of friends. I'm very outspoken, and yeah, I should be a prom queen. Is there anything else you want to tell people with Rubido? Um, no, I want to say good luck to the other nominees and vote for us. And lastly, why should you vote for me, Luis Macias, the last prom nominee? I guess I feel like I represent this school really well. Like I've been in ASB, I've been in choir, I've been in football, I've been in track. I've been in so many activities, I've been so around the school. Every time I try, I'm always pumping up the rally or something like that, just because I love the school. So, lastly, I'd like to say, seniors, go to prom, have a great time, 
and vote whoever you want to. And then everybody else is going to the same thing. But remember, every beauty needs her beast. Everybody vote for Luis. Prom. Remember, soar high and have a falcon amazing weekend. I'm Sophia. I'm Jimmy Ray Skywalker. And, and you've just been fed. fed.